Many of you can't handle the truth. Bobby Kennedy out there, they won't even give him Secret, Secret service, service protection, which is just fucking egregious. It's so wild. They won't give him... Se He's the only presidential candidate ever that's been denied Secret Service protection. Three times, I think, already. Yeah. yeah. It's just... They're so fucking corrupt. Yeah. And they're so in your face with it, and no one does anything about it. Well, you had Bobby on the on the podcast. Yes, I did. Yeah. What do you think of him? I love him. Yeah. I, lo I love... Look, look in, if forget about... The vaccine stuff, which uh, like I think he's got very good points about all that stuff. It's there's real data, and if you read his book, oh. if you read the real Anthony Fauci, you will be sick to your stomach if you know the absolute truth. And if it sick. wasn't truth, wasn't he'd be truth, sued. he'd be sued. Yeah, he's not getting sued for a fucking reason. Um, but just that alone. But then if you forget about the vaccine stuff, you just look at his environmental record, what he did when he was an environmental attorney, when he was suing these suing companies the that EPA. were. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he yeah. fought, they cleaned up the Hudson River because of him. Yeah, he's an amazing guy. I, love, I really love them. Welcome back to the crypto realm. Your dollar ain't shit. We have an interview here with Joe Rogan. Man, truth bombs galore. Check it out. Um, He mentions a book. I'm going to leave the link down in the description. That's where you can find the book. Wow, truth bombs. You just can't handle it. Um, We're in this position because of lack of knowledge, the censorship, right? We've been lied to for so long. And this is what Joe Rogan goes on to talk about. So... He mentioned some names. I can't say them or the video will be censored by the caring and loving YouTube monitors that are out for your safety. <laughs> so we get into that. They talk about it, how it's all a lie, corrupt, and we need to make a change. So check it out. Enjoy. It's about your freedoms. This is the crypto realm. Check out the crypto realm.com. We have crypto literature, great books, and stand up. Our freedoms are being taken away, like her, Emergencies Act. She was part of the trucker convoy in Canada. She's on trial right now in Canada. Land of the free, right? Craziness. And the Emergencies Act by a judge was ruled unnecessary. So there you go. These people will stop at nothing to take away your rights. Let's do our part. At least share, like, subscribe, comment. Let's get this out there. People need to hear what Joe Rogan is talking about here what what happened during the pandemic you know he, he had some talk that he did recently some uh speech some uh, conversation he did recently that was public where he was talking about this is we're being poisoned by food and this is why everybody got so sick from covid the disparity between people who got covid and it was just a cold versus people who got covid and they were deadly ill is a hundred percent what they're eating and what that does to their body and how it compromises their immune system and how it causes comorbidities like diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and obesity and heart disease. It's, this, this is all a direct relationship to food. But there's no money in in, uh, in healing people. You know, the chronic disease, that's it's a huge moneymaker. Yeah. And it's not going to change. I was watching something the other day with, uh, with uh, Tucker Carlson was interviewing somebody named uh, Callie Means. I don't know if you saw this, but he's talking about Ozempic. Yeah. Yes, I did see that. Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. But one of the big points that he made that, that people, I think, forget is that why are these drug companies, Big Pharma, um, spending so much money on advertisements during the news is not to sell their products. They don't have a problem with that. It's to control the messaging. Yes. I mean, they're fucking controlling the message. So For does, sure. So if, if somebody went after that and said, hey, you're not going to be allowed to – advertise on tv anymore because i think we're one of the only countries maybe there's one other country new zealand's the only other country okay so there's two countries it would be you know they would be attacked for anti-science or, yeah. or whatever it might be what what rfk wants to do um you know kind of the dismantling or the re uh, forming realigning of the cdc and the nih and some of these alphabet companies who've been uh lying and misleading the public for so long you know he would get absolutely slaughtered by by the media. Why? Be, not because they actually believe that, but because who's paying them? Yes, it's those companies. So they control the message. So when when you come out and talk about you know what you use to heal yourself during COVID, or when I come out and talk about or Dr. Peter McCullough or Robert Malone or insert anybody who was just trying Pierre to bring Corey. Pierre yeah. Corey. they get absolutely railroaded yeah. and censored and silenced and attacked and yeah. slandered. It's not, I mean, it's not the news. It's corporate controlled. It's completely controlled. And it's, it's not good for us. And the fact that people went along with it because they thought ideologically that that 
group of people aligned with their side and the other side was Donald Trump and the MAGA and the vaccine deniers and all the, all the craziness that they attributed to that. I mean, it's really kind of brilliant the way they've pushed this propaganda. But at the end of the day, it's not beneficial to, to the greater good of society. If the, if the media was legitimate, they would be talking about one of the biggest crises that's happening in this country right now, which is a massive increase in all-cause mortality. Yeah. It's a massive increase, and they're completely silent on it. It's like in some age groups, it's a 40-plus percent increase in all-cause mortality, heart attacks, strokes, cancer. Gee, what, what do you think happened that changed where all of a sudden there's this massive increase and it coincides with something else? Don't you think maybe they would investigate that? Wouldn't, don't you think that like you would have some sort of investigative reporter that dives deep into this and gets to the bottom of it? No, they can't. Because of what captured. you said. They're because captured. they're captured. They're totally yeah. captured, 100%. And yeah, it's just it's on money. and on and on through this whole thing. My, my thing is this, is, you know, all of us who've been attacked for our position, to all those people, what do you think the fucking motivation is? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, just look at my own situation. Like, I lost friends, allies in the media, millions of dollars in sponsorship. Because I talked about what worked for me and my own beliefs and my own health reasons why I didn't get vaccinated. And by the way, you were right. Yeah. You were right. Look, you didn't need it. Look how quickly you recovered. You were fine. And same with you. Yeah. And what did they do? They changed the color of your face. <laughs> <laughs> they, they vilified all early treatments, including yeah. the medicine that has one of the safest profiles yeah. out there. That the, the, the we've talked about it. The guy who invented it got a Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize. Yeah, they were using it all over the world in Uttar Pradesh, in Africa, yeah. and various oh, yeah. places. And that's what you do during a pandemic, right? You find ways to repurpose drugs yeah. for early treatments. But now they couldn't do that because if there's an early treatment, then they can't get the UA. Drugs that have been proven to have antiviral properties. Yeah, I but mean, what's the motivation for Peter McCullough, who got vilified? What's the motivation for Robert Malone? Like. Well, if you know Peter McCullough, Peter McCullough is like, that guy has standards and morals and ethics. I mean, yeah. he is a rock solid dude. Rock and he actually treated guy. patients, too. He actually treated patients. He's also the most published doctor in history yeah. in his particular field of study. But like, what's, what, do you, what is the, the conspiracy on that about motivation? Like, what do I get out of this? Yeah. <laughs> what well, do you get out of, out of sharing what you share? Well, I didn't think anything was going to happen. Uh, when when the, it happened with me, I knew that people were upset at me because I was hesitant to take the vaccine. But that was because two people I knew got strokes. Yeah. I wasn't initially hesitant at all. I was set up to take it. I was set up to take it by the UFC. By the UFC, yeah. yeah. I, remember you said that. I was yeah. ready to do it. I was like, okay, shoot me up. I was going to have them do it to me. I thought of it like a flu shot. Like uh, if I was about to do the UFC and they said, oh, you have to take a flu shot before you go to the UFC. I'm like, all right, just stick me. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. And then they, they said, well, in two weeks when you're back, just come early and you'll come to the clinic. I said, okay, we'll do that. And then within that two weeks, it got pulled. Yeah. Luckily, you know, but it's not just those two guys. I know a lot of people now with pretty severe vaccine injuries. So and, do I. And so many people have reached out to me because of what happened to me. Celebrities that wanted to be quiet about it. You know, people that are like really hesitant about talking about it openly and publicly. But they were really scared. Like people that have like real serious problems. I have two friends that have pacemakers now. Yeah, I remember yeah. we talked about that. They're like one of them in their 30s, right? Yeah. He's a, a dentist. That's not fucking normal. No, it's not normal. It's not normal For at your all. heart to stop for nine seconds at a time. He's a thin, healthy, young guy. And all of a sudden his heart starts fucking up. Why does nobody care about that? Well, everyone's scared. There's people that are scared because they took it and they're worried that they have a ticking time bomb and they want any information, any information that refutes that and that confirms that they made the right choice. Also, they did make the right choice morally and ethically when they did it. They did it because they thought they were doing the right thing. Everybody has to do it. We're going to protect everyone. If we all do this, this is going to get us out of the pandemic because – the news media was being used by these pharmaceutical drug companies to push a very specific narrative. And they didn't do any critical thinking. They didn't step outside the box. They didn't talk to any scientists that differed. They all just stuck with whatever Fauci said, whatever the NIH said. And they also demonized people who were saying things that have been proven to be absolutely correct, like the fucking lab leak theory. If you brought up the lab leak theory, you used to get banned from YouTube. Now it's widely accepted by everyone. everyone. So was all the all the conspiracies that that got people censored and kicked yeah. off. So many of them have been proven to yeah. be true. Yeah. 
And I agree with you. So many people thought they were doing the right thing. They yes. thought, I'm doing my part. This is what we're supposed to do. Two yeah. weeks, stop the spread. You know, to, you know yeah. I'm, I'm full on board. We're all together. But let's look at what happened. And people are always like, why do you keep fucking bringing up the vaccine? For multiple reasons. But listen, this is a playbook that now we have. Right. For the next time they fucking try and do this shit. Right. Don't forget about this. Well, Don't forget talking about, about disease. Disease X. X. Now. What is that? When was the last time they were talking about a disease that doesn't exist, that's not affecting anybody, that's that literally there's no one sick, there's no one dying, and they're talking about how it's coming? Well, just watch what Bill Gates does, because last time he invested $50 million in... In a, in a company, yeah. he made a pretty good score. And then he pulled all his money out. And then he started disparaging Dis the effectiveness of the vaccine. After he pulled his money out, though. After he pulled his money out. And he also started saying the that the virus wasn't as bad as we thought it was. Yeah. Oh, gee. How convenient. Yeah, what happened to the flu? Yeah. The flu went away. Zero cases. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I mean... It is pretty crazy. But it, we can't we cannot forget about what happened. No. Because this is what they're going to do next time. Well